and welcome back to my channel Catching Kate. My name is Kate and this is going to be a what I brought overseas video. There are some things that are missing uh, because I'm actually at my mum's house because I had to put them in her suitcase and she's bringing them up today but I'm just so impatient and I cannot wait for her to get up here. So I'll probably show you those little bits and pieces in another video. But I am set up in my new dressing room. I had the door open because I have emotionally attached dog. And by that I mean like I'm emotionally attached to her. So she'll probably come walking in here soon. I am set up with my Mount Franklin sparkling water. If you know me, you know I'm actually not a sparkling water person because I think it's weird that water is fizzy. Each their own, but it is weird. But I really like this passion fruit one. So that's been my go-to at the moment. And I'm trying to get off the Coca-Cola because I'm addicted to it. And it's actually one of my New Year's resolutions to cut back. So that's for another video. But let's get started at what I purchased overseas. So I'm actually going to start with my favorite thing that I did and most of these products you probably have seen in some of my vlogs that I've already done but I thought I just wanted to show them to you individually but my first and favorite thing that we did over there was making our own perfume so we actually did this one in Paris and the brand is called Molinard I don't want to I might be butchering that but it's this beautiful brand here um, and it is uh, they originated from 1849 in Grassy, which is a um, place in South France. I believe they also have workshops in um, Nice, Grasse, and in Paris. Um, but this is the beautiful bottle that you get. I believe, does it say on the bottom? I believe it's a 100ml one. Um, and obviously, like I said, we got to curate this ourselves. So you can go back to one of my previous vlogs and have a look when my mum and I did that. It was a great time. I really enjoyed it. You come away with a little certificate saying that you are now a, um, a diploma of doing a perfume or a creator of perfume. So um, I'm just going to run through my notes. So you might be able to get a little bit of an idea. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. I love it of what my perfume smells like the thing also with this is that they keep your we had a sheet of paper where we wrote down um, all of our notes and everything that we did in the mills and whatnot of it um, and that comes with a number and they keep it over there in Paris so that if you ever want to order your perfume again you can just go online pop that number in and then they will make it and send it back out to you. So I really love that. If I ever go to Paris again, I will definitely be doing this. Um, I actually did see on TikTok because you know how the internet works. Once you talk about something, everything co starts coming up in your feed. I am totally predicting that this is going to be a thing in 2024, creating your own perfume. Back like in... Oh, uh, was it maybe like 2015 or so when the lip lab was around and it was a create your own um, lip product? I think it's going to be perfume this year because I have seen one pop up in Melbourne. So mark my words, this will be the goat this year. So I wanted to run you through my notes. So we had to choose um, four top notes three middle notes, and then one, two, three, four four base notes. <coughs> so obviously, like I said, you wish they had this mass, a massive table just full of scents um, and they were all color coded to whether they were top notes, middle notes or base notes. And then you went through and smelt them and um, you put them on these little cards and that's how you t could tell whether you liked your little concoction or not. Once you pop them all together, you'd flutter them in front of your nose and if you like the scent that came off it, then you would obviously go on to your next lot of notes. So you then go on to your um, mid notes, add those in, do the same thing. If you did this and there was something that was either too strong or you didn't like, you would then be able to take one note out and then shake it, see if you like that and go, okay, that was the note that I didn't like, so let me add something else in and so on and so forth. So don't, again, sorry if I'm like breathing weird or take deep breaths and coughs. My asthma has been crazy since I've been back. But <laughs> um, my top notes were cola, almond, and green apple. 
And then my mid notes were coconut rice. I know rice sounds weird, but it was such a beautiful smell. It was really light. It almost gave off that kind of like almondy sort of scent. It was beautiful. And apricot. And then for my base notes, they were vanilla, blackberry, toffee, and sugared almond. So you can kind of guess the idea of it. Mine's definitely like the blackberry really comes through, but I really like that because if you didn't know, C from Giorgio Armani actually has blackberry in it. So I was kind of going for those vibes, but a bit warmer than C because I find C is a little, probably a little bit more florally. Whereas because I've put the toffee, the vanilla, coconut, and the sugared almond in this, it kind of has that real like candied, yummy gourmet sort of undertone it is beautiful so i'm so happy with that love it staying in the sort of perfume around i showed this one in a vlog as well i got the hypnotic vanilla from zara um i got this one in amsterdam you would have seen in the vlog but once we got to rome i think it was um it actually fell out of my suitcase when i unzipped it so our hotel room smelled amazing but i was devastated so i made my parents literally walk around the whole of rome when all of us were literally feeling like dog shit just to buy this again because i haven't seen it here in australia yet um, I'm sure we will get it um, or some Zara's might have it, but my one around here doesn't. And this smells exactly like your hypnotic from um, Dior. So the little, almost looks like an apple, I guess, the red one. It's beautiful. A very like vanilla -y, intoxicating scent. I love it. My mum hates the scent. Well, she doesn't hate it. She likes how it smells on me, but on herself, she doesn't like how it smells. So, and we all know perfume smells a little bit different on everyone. And then the last, I think this is the last bit for perfumes. Um, there was a few others that I wanted to get, but by the end of it, when I looked up the conversion rate, um, it just, they, it wasn't really worth it. Like I might as well just get them here and not have to worry about trying to pack them in my bag. But when I was at, which airport did I get these ones at? I think I got these at the Rome airport and they're just like a little um sampler size i really love the smaller size perfumes i think i've said this before because i have so many i don't really like them sitting around for too long so if i can get them in the smaller size and i will because i literally don't stick to one perfume i wear multiple all week but i got the Givenchy um little set because i have been wanting to get the uh, full size of this one so i thought this would also be a great way of trying it so I'm not even going to try and pronounce these names because I will absolutely butcher them. But this is the first one. So this is the red one. Ooh. Oh, again, it's kind of, I must look up the notes. I'll look up the notes actually and I'll put them on the screen here for each of them. But to me, it's almost like a vanilla -y, like cherry sort of scent it's really lovely i really like it. it's one of those kind of like deeper tones it's not really florally or out there this is the second one oh. um, what did they say anything on the back no i don't even know what size these are these these two are quite similar this one's probably just a little bit fresher yeah so nice. And then the last two are these ones. Oh, you probably can't see because they're clear. But these ones are called the um, Irresistible. Ooh. Oh, so nice. That's so nice. This this one kind of reminds me of some of the Long Con ones, actually. Yeah, definitely reminds me Long Con. I think they're both the same. Oh, no. That one smells a bit different. This one reminds me of Longcom ones. This one is a little bit more, actually, almost like La Vie Bell sort of vibes, but love those, so we'll definitely wear those. What are we gonna go on to next? Um, I might do some of the stuff that I got from the chemist while we're over there. My mum has the other half of my chemist stuff that I brought, but I didn't end up going too crazy just because, I mean, weight limit. We already sent a package home and our bags are already at like 26, 27 kilos. So 
Um, these two you would have seen in a vlog I um, brought from the Zara in Amsterdam as well because they have a makeup section there. Our, well, my Zara's around me do not have them, but absolutely love these. This um, gloss is so beautiful. It's like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like so iridescent. Let me pop it on for you. But so pretty. Love her. And it's not sticky, which I love. I hate sticky. And then this is the most beautiful, like, bright pink. And um, she doesn't dry down super matte, but I am just going to go and get a cloth to wipe it off because the staying power is insane. But that color is just beautiful. I love it. I also wore it, um, I think I wore it in Paris one day and I actually wiped it off. It was actually, I think it was Christmas I wore it. I wiped it off at the end of the day because we were just going out for a walk and I didn't want anything super bright and just popped a gloss over it. And because it stains, the color that it stains my lip, it was like really light and pretty. And then I popped the gloss over it, this gloss, and it just looks so beautiful. So let me quickly go and wash this off and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm glad I went and did that because you can even see just like the little bit of staining that it had on my hand just being on there for like 10 seconds. Um, so what else? So in the chemist um, or the pharmacy, uh, City Pharma, City Pharma, the main one in Paris, it's a, quite a big one. I think it was three or four levels. Um, I definitely felt super overwhelmed going in there because there's just so much stuff. And I mean, a lot of it you can get here in Australia, but it's the price difference. Uh, so, because obviously things are quite cheap there compared to here in terms of that. So, the few things that I did pick up, you would know by now that I'm obsessed with lip balm. I literally asked my parents. I <laughs> use a lip balm like every minute of the day. So, I picked up the Nooks. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, they Nooks also had the body oils and they smelt beautiful, but I'm just on a body oil girl well i didn't like the feel of their body oils because i have used the um let me go to my bathroom and see if i can find it please hold she is gross and dirty but do not judge but i have used this one the palmer's um coconut oil and i really like this one because it doesn't feel too dry and actually soaks into my body whereas the nooks body oils i don't know they just left i didn't like the feeling of them but they smelt divine so if that's your thing go for it but i saw it at or pretty much all the airports as well over there but anyway so i got I'm not even gonna pronounce the name of the lip balm but it's basically a honey lip balm so i purchased that one um i've heard quite a few good things about it love the packaging like this beautiful like amber mm, smells quite nice too like it and then i also picked up uh, the lip honey care one in the liquid as well, but it looks so cute, like a little, oh yeah, that one smells nice, a little, I don't know what you call that, those honey dippers, whatever, whatever those things are called. Um, I also picked up the uh, quarterly little essence spray, so again, I've never used quarterly, but I've heard lots of good things about it. I didn't buy the big one, um, just in case I didn't like it. But anywho, I'll try that out and let you know. I got a few things. Um, what's that? I got like one of those big water sprays as well, which obviously you can get here, but the price was way better there. So my mum brings that up. I'll show you in my next vlog. Um, I also got these for work. This is, they're like, um, like misting waters. And I love to use these on the skin and in the air when I'm doing a facial. There's just nothing like having scents and aromas as a part of your journey and your experience of having a skin treatment. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. So I brought a chamomile one, a lavender one, and I can't remember what the other one is, but when my mum brings it up, I will definitely show it to you. But I just love these. So, um, yeah. So what do they have? Doesn't have like any oils or anything in it. It's just like a calming water. So, oh, 
I just love the smell of it and the feel of it like on your skin. So that one says, that's a chamomile and that one's meant to be calming. Um, this is your balancing one. And I think the other one I got was for like, oh, love that one. I'm not normally a lavender girl um, in terms of I hate when people have like, I shouldn't say I hate because I mean each their own, but I personally don't like lavender sprays like on your pillow and your bedding and whatnot. It doesn't help me sleep. I don't like it. I also don't like it in perfumes, but in terms of like misting like skincare and whatnot, divine, beautiful. But I think the third one that I got was like a purity one. So for um, like your acneic skins. And then the final thing that I got was the infamous A313 um, retinol cream. So I'll let you know how that goes as well. I haven't used it yet. This was super cheap. Like I wanna say only like 11 or 13 euro. Um, euro? Yeah, euro. Um, so that is an amazing price and it's meant to do wonderful things. I already do use retinol from the brand that I use in my salon, so Aspect. Um, so I will let you know what I think of that once I start using her. Um, I am quite as I wouldn't, I'm not a sensitive skin, um, but do you do like look at how like high my cheeks are? Um, I always get like a retinol burn right here on the top of my cheeks if I use it too much. So I can literally use it like once or twice a week. I have been using the cosmetics. Um, let me go and grab that as well. It's just easier to explain it. So I have been using the Cosmetics um, Bacutual Oil, which is basically like a natural or a, uh, yeah, a natural derived um, retinol. So my skin really loves this one because it's also super hydrating and it's literally just comes in like a little dropper like this. And so many of my clients love it. So if you are a sensitive bunny or want to go down like the natural route of um, pigmentation, aging and whatnot, try something that has Bacucci on it. Can highly recommend the cosmetics one. So yes, we'll try that out. And then I just have so much stuff. Like, I mean, I didn't really buy that much to be honest with you compared to what I normally do. But my next favorite thing that I bought, I'm not going to open it because it's going straight onto my bookshelf. Um, so if you didn't already know, I enjoy collecting books. I wouldn't say I'm like an avid reader, and that is because I'm actually not a very good reader. I never have been. Um, I'm quite slow at reading, and I'm not someone who takes like the information in very well when I am reading. So I find I have to like read things over and over again, which really gives me the shits. Um, but I love collecting books. I love books. I just think they're so beautiful. They hold so many like feelings and emotion and I just love them. Um, so I've been trying to find and collect books now, like, you know, your older books or your collectibles. Um, so this is one from um, 1833. It does have some um, spinal problems. I mean, same hun, um, but I would like to go and get this fixed. But I'm going to put some information about the author up here. Um, he was like a satire uh, poet um, from France. So I absolutely love this book. It's really beautiful on the inside. It's obviously all written in French. So thank goodness for Google, Google, Google Translate so I can actually read them. Um, but absolutely love this. I love poetry. I cannot wait to put her on my bookshelf. So I got that one, I got that one um, funny enough in Rome. Um, but yeah, that's my little one there. From the same stall, I also purchased just some uh, artwork to go on my walls. I'm not sure which room, but I got this one, which is the Trevi Fountain. And then I got this one. What does this one say it is? I believe this one is like the Spanish Steps. It definitely looks like the Spanish Steps, but it has some more flowers on it. So maybe it's the Spanish Steps in um, summer and spring. Who knows? Um, and then this one, this one says Castle St. Angelo, um, which is in Rome and like one of the bridges. So love them. There's, actually, this one will probably say what it is. Piazza di Spagana. 
whether that means Spanish steps or not, I have no idea. But anywho, they are beautiful and I'll probably put them in, I'm thinking like a trio, like down the wall this way, will look super pretty. They might, they actually would look really nice, I think maybe in my back lounge room because that room doesn't have many walls, it's just got lots of windows. So something quite little would look really pretty there. You can see in the back here, I've got to put some artwork up on the wall here. So thankfully my dad's coming today. <laughs> Um, so I brought this dress in Zara. I hope we actually get it here in Australia um, because I wish now that I'd gotten it in the other colors. I believe it came in a black and a gray as well, um, but I didn't try it on over there because sh shopping in Zara in Europe is like madness, like absolutely crazy. Like, I don't know, you've literally got to like push people. <laughs> but I love the style of it. So I got mine in a cream color um, and it is called, does it say what it's called? Cool, doesn't say what it's called, but I got it in a size large and it was 22.95 euro. But let me stand up and hold it up for you. So this is it. So it's got like a, it's not a cow neck and it's not super high because when it's on, it actually it kind of just sits like this. They called boat necks, scoop nets, wouldn't have a clue. And then just like a, not a three quarter sleeve either. It kind of just goes down to where this one is. But it is like a long dress, but it does it's like skim the body here and then kind of flares out. But it is super stretchy and it's got like that ribbed material. But I absolutely love this. I think I was just like in my cream era because I brought my Louis Vuitton. And I wanted something to match, but I really wish that I brought it in the um, the black color as well. So hoping that it comes out in the Zara here in Australia. Sorry, I just had to have a drinks break. Um, what next? Okay, so when we were in Rome, if you were following along with my vlogs, you'll know that um, I got really unwell and I couldn't go to the one thing that I really wanted to do, which was go to Florence because I wanted to go to the designer outlets and to see um, the birth of Venus painting that's out there. It's like on my bucket list. But anyway, so I'm fuming about that. So let's just not talk about it. So because I didn't get anything while I was out there, I thought that I would spend my money on some more local um, purchases. So I did purchase two more bags and they are so gorgeous. So look at her isn't she pretty so i think i did get a little bit of footage of these shops in one of my blogs they actually had a lot of bags that were dupes like they definitely had dupe like gucci um dupe hermes like so many dupe bags for sure um and they're all real leather but they're all locally um all locally made but it does come with a little like side strap as well so this is her so you can obviously wear it like this but it'll fit your phone if you've got an iphone anyway perfectly down that way or you can obviously just hold it as like a little a little bag so love that one they also came in so many colors like greens pinks blues purples but when it comes to bags i am quite boring now because i want them to go with everything so i got that one and that was only, it was on sale, so winning, um, 29 euro for real leather. Fantastic. And then I got this one, which I love. I did have one other thing, but my mum must have it in her bag. I actually got a little, um, oh no, it's right here. What am I talking about? I'm just going to show it to you on this bag. But I got a little like pearl strap as well. I am kind of kicking myself because I had shorter ones. And I wish that I'd got that so I could have just used it as like an accessory. But I'm sure I'll be able to find like an accessory one somewhere. But I love this because I'll probably be able to use it on some of my other bags or even my new Louis Vuitton that I got. And you can just use it as like obviously a handle bag or a little like shoulder bag. But that was so pretty. I think this is about like 16 or 18 euro. So I love that. And then my next bag is in the same color as the first one. They had the most beautiful green color in this, but I just, as much as I loved it, I don't know. I just think, like I said, when things are more like neutral color, I know that I'm going to wear them a lot more because all of my colored bags, I only literally pull them out if I'm going 
to like a birthday or a baby shower or something like that. And I want a bit of a different bag to match my outfit to be like super matchy. But this is my other one. So, so pretty. And it's got this gorgeous little, like, I don't know. It's got its own belt, whatever you want to call it. But love that. It does come with, you can literally smell the leather. Um, so you obviously have to be okay with leather if you like this sort of stuff. But anywho. Um, but it comes with a strap with a little gold buckle and detailing that just clips on so you can wear it cross body as well or just as a little bag. Uh, I cannot remember how this much this one was this one was definitely more expensive i'm gonna say with the little chain on it that it was probably like 80 or 90 euro but like i said i was kind of prepared to spend that because i didn't get to go to florence and i needed to drown my sorrows in bags so those are the two bags that i got while i was in rome i think they're just so cute look at them with this outfit Love them. So I can't wait to put them away. Um, I'll go, I think I've shown you this as well in a blog, in blog, blog, whatever you want to call it. But I'll go through it a bit more. So these are also like dupe, if that's what you want to call it, jewelry. Um, but so gorgeous. So got this. Oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. This little bracelet and then I got this little one so you can obviously tell that they're like dupes of Van Cliff. so if you see me wearing these in videos I'm not rich I buy dupe ones definitely um, and then I brought this one to stack it up with I mean if someone wants to be my sugar daddy and buy me one I'll accept it I will accept it but I'm probably not going to buy it myself because, I mean, I own a house and a bulldog and both of those things are very expensive. But I got these earrings, which are so cute. These are almost like the top of them are like the Bottega ones, but love that. They actually had like Bottega dupes where it was just um, like that as one, but it's probably not really something that I would personally wear. And then I got just this like single necklace with the little clover there and then i think this is the last one which is a long one and it's just the um just like the gold so that then you can stack them so i love love all of those i used to be such a white gold silver person but as i'm getting older just uh normal gold and um rose gold are definitely my thing but i do like to mix metals as well because this this is my almost ring um which is so beautiful it's actually a um topaz so yellow topaz um but it's gold and then this is rose gold and then i've got um white gold earrings so a bit of a mixture but i don't care and then the piston resistance for this video is my louis vuitton that i brought so i feel like we walked around all of paris to get this because um, I wanted to go to the um, Champs Elysees store, which is their flagship store there in Paris. Oh my goodness, Caitlin, get your words out. But we came across um, a couple of the other Louis Vuittons, and I just really wanted to get it from this store. So we walked all the way back to that one. But this is her, so let this, let's unbox her. I haven't used her yet. And I don't know whether I'm stupid. Because um, I have actually brought Louis Vuitton overseas before and never had an issue. Because I always declare my things when I come back in. But um, when I declared this one this time, um, obviously the, the gate people um, at Brisbane Airport are so beautiful. Really lovely, really helpful. Um, so no issues there. But I just wasn't aware that um, if anything, if you purchase anything that's over 900 I don't know whether it's hundred dollars or nine hundred euro. You're actually meant to pay tax on it when you come back into Australia. But they were really lovely because I was obviously travelling with a party of three. They split the um, the amount up between the three of us for my bag, so I did not have to pay anything. Um, but obviously, you should definitely declare things when you come back into the country. But anyway, this is her. So this is your, um, I will put the exact name up here, but this is your um, Felicity, I think, pochette. 
um, and I got it in the, I believe this color is called the cream. Um, I think in my vlog, I might have shown you, I don't know whether I showed you or not, but if not, I will put a photo here as well. I did try on like a bit of a darker mushroom color, which I absolutely loved, but I just feel like this just stands out a little bit more. It's a little bit cleaner looking um, and I will probably get a little bit more use out of it. I mean, if I was super rich, I'd love to get both of them. But anyway, so this is her. So absolutely love it front and back and then you open it up and it's all like suede I'm not good at this but like on the inside it feels beautiful I um my consultant there was just she was so lovely so lovely I've always had a really good experience when I've gone to that store I think I've been there three times now and they are just wonderful like no offense but the Brisbane one is not it I've been in there before and they have just totally ignored me just not been nice at all the gold coast is a little bit better they definitely are but i don't know whether that's because that time i like just went straight in and was ready to buy something but the brisbane store i will never go there and spend my money but anywho because you can get hot stamping so they did offer that to me but obviously because i was coming back to australia and i think it was already like uh, it would have been at least five o'clock in the afternoon by then. I just did not want to wait any longer um, to get anything hot stamped. But so like I said, you open this up and then you get this little one, which is like a card holder. And um, my consultant said that this is usually here or on the top here is where people get this one um, hot stamped. So I will take this down to the Gold Coast when I'm at my mum and dad's house and get her hot stamp with my initials. So I love that. And then it also comes with this one as well, which is just like a little coin purse. So that is perfect. I will definitely use that. And then it also just comes with your strap. So love her. This one is made in, this one is made in Italy, whereas I think all the other ones that I have are made in France. Um, but I think Louis Vuitton, is most of this a lot of this stuff is either italy france or spain i think um but it will say like on the inside on your little tag where your one is made which is really cool so i love that so the other thing that i did want to get that i just wasn't sure of while i was there because i did mention this in my blog i was going to get myself a little card holder because i don't actually really use a wallet anymore i just use my bag and then stick my money and my cards in there but I wanted, I either wanted a Dior or Gucci one, or I saw they had the matching one to this in Louis Vuitton. So I just was not sure. And then I was unwell, so I just didn't get the opportunity to get one. So that'll probably be maybe something that I get and think about while I'm over, like back home, and have a bit more time to um, really think about my decision. Because I never take these decisions lightly. I understand that this is a, um, a luxury and expensive thing, and I'm very grateful for to be able to do this. But also keep in mind, like I said, I've been, I saved for a whole year for this. It's not just something that I go out and really nearly do. Um, I work many jobs um, and purchase it myself. So I'm very happy and very proud of myself. And this is what I like to spend my money on. So, and you are welcome to obviously spend your money on whatever you like, but this is what I like to do. So that is her. And I believe that is the last the last of it for this haul like I said there are a few little other tiny bits and pieces here and there that I'll show you when my mum comes up actually I can see one more thing the one last thing that I did buy let me like oh make sure she's are you in properly are you not in properly I don't know I'm not very oh. just hold one second please so the last thing I got, uh, I didn't buy one of these last time. My mum did buy one and I loved it. So I got myself a little Eiffel Tower because I love her so much. And I sit her up on my little desk here in the dressing room now. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but she lights up. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. Look at, oh. What a way to end this little video. She's just gorgeous. So I'm going to keep her on and just keep her over here so I can feel like that I am in Patty all the time. But thank you for watching this. Let me know down below what you liked the most out of my little haul. 
mine was definitely my perfume and like i said i'm definitely calling it that this is going to be a thing where you can go and make your own perfume and if you get the opportunity whether it's here um, in australia or overseas i highly recommend but if you'd like any um, trials of any of these products or you'd like some more information um, please let me know because like I said there are a few of these that you can actually get here in Australia but other than that thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for my next one